Hey everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, we're doing what if the nine largest uh, dwarf planets orbited Earth. So, so these are uh, the nine largest. We have Pluto, which is the lime green. We have uh, Gong Gong. I think it's the smallest one here. No, that may be serious. I don't know. Um, yeah, we have Gong Gong. It's like the kind of swamp kind of green. We got Pluto as the lime. We have Ceres as the blue. Um, we also have uh, Make Make or Maki Maki, however you want to say it, as purple. Pink is Haumea. Orcus is uh, orange. Eris is white. I do not know how to say this one, but it uh, it's the light blue. And we have uh, Sedna as the red. Alright, let's get started. And the moon's also out here. I think the smallest is Ceres, from what I know. There goes Ceres right o already. Sedna got really close there. Ooh. Eris, there goes Orcus. I think not. Yeah, that was Orcus. Oh, Senna maybe next. No, nope, Senna will get lucky. Make, make. Oh, I want, I want to get this. Yeah, looks like make make is gonna get destroyed. Or no, it isn't. It got lucky. All right, uh, Gong Gong still in the middle there, or the closest one to Earth, which that may no, it doesn't. Okay. Sedna and Halmea have like the same or orbital path. Gong Gong's gotta be careful of Earth. Or no, not Earth, huh? Pluto. Oh, there goes uh, Halmea, I think. Yeah, that's Halmea. Sedna almost collided there. No, make make avoids collision. I wonder if Gong Gong is gonna collide with Pluto. Eris is really aggressive. Pluto's gotta be careful of uh, Eris. And Gong Gong's gotta be careful of Pluto. Yep, there goes Gong Gong. I knew that was gonna happen sooner or later. Okay, how? Whoa, whoa. What was that? Something happened to Earth. I don't know what that was. I don't think anything collided with it. I don't know. Um. Little. Eris. Oh, Pluto's bigger than Eris. Okay. Something hit Earth. I don't know what hit Earth. Oh my. Oh, there we go. I think we know who the winner is. Pluto is a, it has asserted its dominance as being the, the, the best dwarf planet, I guess. I don't know. Um. That's Pluto, this is Eris. There isn't much of a different sign. Huh. Alright, let's keep going, because we there's still a couple dwarf plants, which there could be collision. No, Sedna's getting lucky. Sedna gets lucky again. Oh, and again. Some of us playing risky. Ooh, make make. Make make. I don't know what happened to Ernest. I'm 
confused what hit it. I guess there's some uh, material that came off Pluto or something when it hit Eris. Let's be up time. The moon's chilling out there. Ooh, make make. Make, make. All right, what's gonna happen to make, make here? Is it gonna collide with Pluto? No, it's getting close, but no collision yet. However you say this one's name, it's really close. Where did Make Make go? I just realized that word. I guess Pluto collided with Make Make because I don't see it. I <laughs> I do not know where it went. Okay, well, I think we know who's gonna go next. Oh, it survived. Just survived. Oh, wait, maybe not. Well, that planet is really lucky. Just, it touched Pluto, kind of scraped, scraped Pluto a little bit, and then... I don't know how to put that into better words. I know there is, but I, I don't know. One little dwarf planet. Oh! Dwarf planet. Oh no, it's gone. I don't think much is gonna happen. So. Okay, never mind. Uh, Sedna's gone. Like uh, Pluto. Look at that. Pluto, Pluto, Pluto may be habitable. No. Uh, wait, I think I'm. I think I'm. I think it's surface. I don't know. that how that ends um pluto pluto and Ares destroyed without other dwarf plants and pluto came out on top well um if you have any uh, ideas similar to this or something else uh and if you want want to see it uh, comment down below and i'll see if i can do it or not and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one see ya